Hey there, I just got home and it is unboxing time. It is Jalo time. Uh, Arrow, and I'll be right back in a second and we'll uh, look at it together. Hey there, so it is Tuesday, almost uh, time for, uh, for hump day. It's tomorrow. And I got an Amazon UK unboxing for you. Actually, super stoked to have this set. It's what I've been wanting for a long, long time. It was originally, uh, I think it was a No Shame release of this one out on DVD. Uh, it's been long in a print. And I am so excited to have this one. So here, here it is. It is the Death Walks Twice. Two films by Luciano Acoli. Uh, we have Death Walks in High Heels. And Death Walks at Midnight. And of course the books. So we're just going to open this up in a second. Uh, this is a limited edition set. This, these will be put out, I think, later on, on their own. So what does a limited edition one include? It basically includes a book. Uh, you get, like, uh, the limited edition 60-page book, lead containing new writings on the films, with uh, Troy Hower, uh, Danny Shipka, uh, Leonard Jacobs. Uh, just some really cool stuff. The uh, Death Walks on the uh, High Heels has an audio commentary with Tim Lucas, which is always really good. Introduction to the film by screenwriter Ernesto Gastaldi. Uh, from Spain with Love, featurette comprising newly edited archive footage of director Luciano Arcoli and actress Neves Navarro, otherwise known as Susan Scott, usually when her name is anglicized for these films. Interviewed at their home in Barcelona, a master of giallo, screenwriter Gastaldi on Death Walks and Aiels and how to write a successful giallo. Death Walks to the Beat, a career spanning interview with High Heels composer Stevello Cipriani. Of course, original English and Italian trailers, reversible sleeves, and of course, with Death, Death Walks at Midnight, we have auto commentary by Tim Lucas. We got an introduction to the film by screen writer Ernesto Castaldi, extended TV ver version of the feature, which I'm really interested in seeing. Uh, crime does pay. Screenwriter Castaldi reflects on his career in the crime film writing business, including a look at Death Walks at Midnight, Desperately Seeking Susan, which is another visual essay by Michael McKenzie. I cannot wait to see that. Uh, exploring the distinctive giallo collaborations between director Luciano Acoli and, and star Neves Navarro. Of course, the reversible uh, sleeve again. So let's open this one up and uh, check it out. So I got my, uh, I don't need to take a chains today, which is the name of my own life. So we'll, I'll keep already showing this, so I won't go too in depth with it. We get the uh, Death Box Twice book, two films by Luciano Arcoli. So, so some great stuff on there. The uh, contents is basically Death Walks on Aiels credits, Death Walks of Midnight credits, Teetering on Aiels by Danny Shipka, Death Walks the 70s, Luciano Arcoli and the Jello by Troy Howard, and the comedy stylings of the yellow genre by Leonard Jacob. So, uh, there's some cool stuff in there. A quick look at each of the sets. That's each of the ones that sets. So there's Death Walks on My Heels. You see, uh, she's named Susan Scott there. That is uh, Nev Zavara. This one does have a card with it, the art card, and it has a Shiba Baby art card. We got the the blue right here, and of course this one was done, uh, you know, basically A and B, both regions. And uh, we have the, uh, the DVD, which should probably be regions one and two. You can see that it also has this beautiful cover right here. That's the original artwork. You kind of love the artwork when it comes to the jallos. They're just jelly, I guess. You want to just brilliant, brilliant stuff. Super excited to have these. I can't wait to watch these, actually. As you guys know from uh, watching my videos the last few, uh, last month, actually, you've seen that I've got a lot of jello. Death Walks at Midnight, another very cool one. Again, you know, all features that I mentioned before. We got the uh, the Blu-ray right here. The DVD, and let's look at the alternate art as well. That's actually really cool. But I, will th I think I'll keep the new art on there. I do kind of like it. So, I dig it. They did a really good job. They're doing a really good job with these sets. There's one more uh, set coming out. 
at the end of May, uh, June basically. Uh, that's when they're sitting at my note anyway. Uh, and it's the Killer Dame set, which is uh, my galley set. Errol is killing it with these sets. The just have such a basic, basic stuff. Well, I am hungry, so I am going to go have what we call Newfoundland steak, which is bologna and a tea. So, super stoked to have this. I'm probably going to watch the Malcolm McKenzie uh, visual essay right away because I do it on the films. Thanks for watching, guys. For me right now, I am Aaron, and it is time for tea. Yeah.